Her new movie, Making Love, will be released February the 12th. Please welcome Kate Jones. I think they like it, Kate. I will tell you something. I didn't know until we were uh, backstage. I've met you a few times, and I've met you always in restaurants, and you're always seated. Yes. Right? And we talked once at Caesar's Palace, once in New York, and, and, and I didn't know you were this tall. Five seven and three eights, almost five yeah, eight. Yeah, five eight. I thought you were really short. Well, I'm six two. People think I'm short. You don't look short to me, David. No, not in person, right? No, you're right. Yeah, not in person. Well, the Charlie's Angel, one of the original Charlie's... I, could I say something that my friends in Philadelphia I grew up with? <laughs> <laughs> These people what? are nice. Where did they come from? I don't know. We're bringing them back, though. They're great. What about the... Uh... Oh, she didn't really mean it. Calm down. It took us nine hours to go through your cities. I think they've got a hell of a lot more to say than I do. To take yeah. <laughs> they're, they're taking a hell of a lot more than you're taking. That's what it is. When you, uh, when you uh, worked on uh, Charlie's Angels, now that is a top-rated show, and it's number one, and everything's going great. Well, what shows do you watch? What do you watch? I watch uh, 60 Minutes. Yeah. I watch Dynasty. Yeah. yeah. And I don't watch a lot of television, really. Yeah. I, don't, I, I shouldn't say it. I, I watch... Uh, a little bit of news, some documentaries, uh, The Tonight Show, because I'm usually in dressing rooms, it's a great, you know, Tonight Show. Boxing, any boxing. kind of boxing, any kind of, sp some sports, but I don't watch that much TV. I don't turn it on, I get the I have a, I have a terrific um, computer chess board that I do instead of television. Sargon, and he beats me every time. Oh, that's one of those uh, machines. Oh yeah, he's terrific. In his tournament mode, it can take him from two to four hours to decide which move to make. You sit there watching a machine think for four hours? I sit there and watch him think, and then he beats me every time. I've beaten him twice. They would have one for boxing. Wouldn't that be great? They used to have those little machines that they'd go like this, and the guy would fall down with his arms up. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, are you still in touch with any of, the, uh, any of the original angels? I see Jackie and Farah, and Jackie's going to have a baby. Oh, wow. Very soon. Yeah, she's big, too. She's tall. I met her. She's about 5'9". We're, we're about the same height. Yeah, I thought she was tall. Yeah, Farrah's a little bit shorter than we are. We're no. all about the same That was a dynamite height. series. I mean, that really catapulted the uh, three careers. How did you feel when it was like... It, was, it wasn't overnight, maybe, in the sense of, of your life. But a show goes on the air, and then, boom, overnight, in that mm -hmm. sense, you're a superstar on television. Well, there was so much um, Hazarai around, and I was right in the middle of it and couldn't really Hazarai, tell. Hazarai, for those who live anywhere between the, the yeah, Rocky Mountains and here, means a lot of different kind of business, right? Just a lot of um, crazy, crazy, crazy little craziness. things going around. Yeah. Hazarai. It was yeah. nuts. It was fun, but it was nuts. Well, what, what bothered you the most about being, uh, uh, when you first hit it and you were a big star? What was the what first thing? What bothered you yeah, the most? Yeah, what bothered Anything bother you about it? It bothers me a little bit, um, when I'm out and around and people stare, sort of. The gawkers. It just makes me nervous. Yeah, the gawkers. Well, they're not really gawkers, and they don't really mean any... They only do it because they like you, I think, I mm -hmm. hope. Um, but it just makes me nervous because I'm shy anyway, and, and I think if they're staring at me, there's got to be something wrong. Well, you know what you can do? You can do it. I used to do this as a kid. I used to, I used to run up the street corners. I to... find if I just take my clothes off, then usually it... Well, there'll be a little more staring. <laughs> It's, it's easier from there. Yeah, I would think so. Everything is. <laughs> what I used to do as a kid on the corner to amuse myself, is, and I do this if people stared at me in the beginning because it really used to get me crazy. I don't mind someone coming up, how are you doing, David, right? Yeah. When I'm eating. Or, or wave or something, a little wave. It's when they're like... <laughs> and they're watching every move. So what I did one night, and I, found, I happened to be eating spaghetti, and I just let one of them hang out. <laughs> What I used to do at the bus stop is I used to stand and wait for the bus and let a strand of spaghetti hang out of my fly, but that's when I was a kid. <laughs> that's, that's a, little bit of, a little bit of madness. Well, you, you're, not from, uh, you're not from California. No, I'm from Alabama. Alabama? Yes, Alabama. And I have a house in Utah now. Where did you get an accent? I mean, where's your accent? It's there. You don't hear it? 
No. I came back from New York last night. You're from New York, aren't yeah, you? I live there, yeah. These people are here. Yes, they're These people yeah. are from New York. I came back from New York last night, and it, see, it sounds to me, I can, I can really hear it now, the accent. You can't hear it? A southern, no, usually, you know, girls from the South, they talk real slow, so slow. Sometimes when they say no, they already did. <laughs> I mean, they talk slow. <laughs> But you, I'm some water? A, yeah, some water, I'll sure. Some water. I got a glass of water. We'll get you some in just a moment. In the meantime, you may have mine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse me. This'll do you a lot of good. That'll make it much easier to talk. Yeah, any germs in your body are now dead. <laughs> but don't smoke. <laughs> Well, when you were, how, what, did you go to training to get rid of your accent? Because you really don't have that southern accent. Well, I was 19 when I left, so I've been gone Still. three, four years. So. Yeah, right, so. It, you, know, so you lose it quickly. Yeah, I understand. I, I uh, used to have an accent. What kind of an accent? Well, well, they think it's a New York accent. It's not. It's a Philadelphia accent. We say things like, uh, uh, we say on. Put it on. Yeah. Other people say something else. I don't know what it is. <laughs> We'd say on, put it on. That's it, in the South. Put it on. Put it, put it on. And they like to say this. They like to say, they say, damn. They put an L on there. <laughs> damn. Right? Yeah. And then their favorite word is S-H, 12 E's, and a T. That's right. And I was going to say that. And I'm, I'm Like on the bed, you know, a sheet on the bed. Oh, sheet. Yeah, on the bed. They like that. until I moved to New York. Oh, yeah, they can really. I mean, when they have graffiti, it takes a whole wall just to get that one word. <laughs> well, you started out, I understand, one of your early jobs, you were a tour guide. At, at, the, NBC, at NBC in New York. No. And I used to sneak my tours into the Tonight Show studio where we weren't supposed to go. Sneak them in there and let them sit down and say, this is, they do the Tonight Show. I know it looks bigger on television, but the camera makes it look that way and go through a whole deal. It was fun. The whole speech, yeah. Yeah. I went back and did uh, Saturday Night Live a couple of years ago, I think. Um, and we did, that's how we opened the show. We did a takeoff on the tour. It was fun. Just started the show, started the opening monologue, and then one of the writers came up with a fake group of tour people and blew the whole thing away, and then we just, live from New York. Uh, yeah, that, well, I do it here. I walk around with the tour group here sometimes. You know, yeah, yeah when I'm coming in to, to do they the Tonight do, Show, they do I have, follow them. They have the, you do? No, I do. I follow, I get in the group. It's, now it's going to blow up because I like to do this. I get in, in with the group in the back. And when the guide is saying, and this is where we have our scenery, and I go, it is not. <laughs> and I'm one of those disturbing people, you know, a real sicko in the crowd. And you know how when he's a sicko, you don't want to look at him? So no one really turns to look for a while until I really get, <laughs> until I really, when they come over and they say, and the Tonight Show is here, and I said, is not. <laughs> and then they'll turn, and the guide will look up, and then they'll turn around. There I am. Huh? <laughs> we got to take a break here? Oh. Oh, right, oh, the do. movie, right, the film clip. What is it? Well, first, you have to set up the movie, right? That's a great uh, title, you know? Do you know anything about it? Yeah, I know about it. You know a little bit about it. Yeah. You, oh, you. Oh, yeah. I understand. Making love, right? You guys right? know anything about it? Making love? <laughs> I know a little, I know a little bit, yeah. Can I just say something yeah, short sure. about the film clip? Of course. I'm not, I, there were two, and I'm not sure which one is even here. I right, set up both of them, then we'll be surprised which well, one. Well, it's, um, the movie is really, I think, basically about uh, living, loving, and letting go when you have to. Mm -hmm. And um, it does deal with homosexuality. What do you... Mm. Sure, look at this, mm -hmm. a guy from Utah who sucks wood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was directed by Arthur Hiller and Danny Melnick produced it, and it's, uh, it's really, I think, a fine film. And that's coming out February 12th? February 12th, yeah, I'm right. proud of it. We that. have a clip here. We're going to take a look at a clip now. All right, so you watch your monitors, uh, and those at home watch your television. <laughs> All right, look, uh, we're going to cut this out, and we're going to talk. You cannot do this to me. It's not fair. Now, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to hold you. I don't know whether I should even try to hold you. God, Zach, we've always gotten each other through because we've never been afraid to share. You've closed yourself off, and I feel helpless. I don't know what to do. You gotta tell me, are you? 
Are you sick? Are you in trouble? Is there another woman? Look, whatever it is, I can handle it. I can handle it no matter what it is. But I cannot handle the silence. Yeah. It must be fun to make movies, huh? It was working with those people and with, with Arthur Hiller. Did you know Arthur did Hospital? No. That's one of my favorite movies in the world. Oh, that was that was great with George C. Scott. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Right, and right? the Americanization of Emily and the Out of Towners and just it was wonderful to work with. Those I like people. that hospital because that's what really happens in hospitals. I had a man next to me <laughs> in a hospital. I couldn't believe a man next to me. You know, some people think they're dying and they're not. I think he had like a wart removed from his chin. <laughs> It was a my, I mean, this is a true, and he's lying in this, and, and, and they had plastic over him. And they had this plastic over him, and he was there.